Let us consider two more examples. Blowing of a whistle and call of a hoopoo bird. Which of these two actions will produce a higher pitch? In the case of blowing of a whistle, a greater number of waves pass in one second. It means that it has high frequency which results in a high pitch sound. In the case of a hoopoo bird, however, fewer number of waves pass in one second, resulting in a low pitch sound. Next, let's discuss the loudness of sound. The loudness of sound basically tells us how loud or soft a sound is. When we talk to our friends, our voice is soft, but when we address a public gathering, our voice is loud. The loudness of a sound depends upon the amplitude of the vibrating object. The larger the amplitude, the louder the sound. It is measured in decibels. Consider this example. If we strike a drum lightly, we hear a soft sound. It is because the sound produced is of low amplitude. However, if we strike the drum harder, we hear a louder sound. In this case, the sound waves have a larger amplitude. Hence, the amplitude of sound waves determines the loudness of sound. The pitch of sound depends upon its frequency, while the loudness of sound depends upon its amplitude. Can human ears hear all sounds? An average human can hear a sound only if its frequency lies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz. These frequencies are called audible frequencies, and the sound waves that fall within this range are called audible sounds. Sounds of frequency below 20 Hz and beyond 20,000 Hz are inaudible to the human ear. Sounds above 20,000 Hz are called ultrasound, while sounds below 20 Hz are called infrasound. Animals such as cow, dogs and horses can hear ultrasounds. A few animals such as elephants can also hear infrasound. The table shows the audible frequency range of some animals. According to this table, a cow can hear a frequency range of 20 to 30,000 Hz. A dolphin can hear a frequency range of up to 1,20,000 Hz. Now, it is time for a quick exercise. Take a minute and discuss with each other. Look at both waves carefully. Notice that both waves have the same frequency. This means that both waves have the same pitch. The amplitude of the wave on the left side is greater than the amplitude of the wave on the right side. Remember that the loudness of sound depends upon its amplitude. So, the sound on the left side is louder. Hence, Options A and C are correct. In this video, we learnt about the pitch and the loudness of sound. The pitch of a sound tells us how shrill or deep it is. It depends on the frequency of the sound waves. The loudness of sound basically tells us how loud or soft a sound is. It depends upon the amplitude of the sound waves. An average human can hear a sound only if its frequency lies between 20 Hz and 20,000 Hz, which are called audible frequencies.